quick video. <sighs> Kilometer 25. I think I've only been out here for 15 minutes. And I'm on my third day. Um, vlogging around the whole way. But <sighs> it's nice to just be able to walk. <laughs> So this is a camp spot that I would love to have come to yesterday, but um, day two is always really rough. Overgrowth, just and just the terrain itself. Like, I'll take cardiac kill any day. Um, but yeah, this is off trail a little bit. There's a sign that tells you to go this way for a view. So this is the view. I would have loved to have woken up this morning, climb out of my tent to look at this. Just gorgeous. And that tree there is blocking the lake. There is, it is in there. Let's see here, Let's see if I can, there it is. The lake heading towards Penticton. So different views of the lake as I'm going cause I'm really getting out of Kelowna soon. Hooray. All right, so I just went through this one and then all of these um, big puddles. <laughs> Um, there's been several, many. I've been going along the side, like along there, and using the trees to uh, balance and hold myself up. But for some reason on this one, I don't even know what happened after it's done now. But um, I ended up falling. Amazingly, my shoes did not leak. Um, I was afraid of that first. But yeah, my leg, my leg is really wet <laughs> and muddy it was already dirty anyway but yeah things can be so unsafe especially when you decide to do some things that you might decide to do the wrong things you have to be really really careful Okay, so, um, filming is going to be kind of weird, hard, so I'm just collecting water, and I don't do this like most people do, they have Sawyer squeezes, or some kind of gravity system where these drops, um, I use, um, pills, and that might, I don't know, I don't know, but anyway, I have a dirty bottle, I'm not allowed to drink out of this bottle, um, I can pour out of it if I purified it inside, but I can't, um, put the outside um, in my mouth just in case any of the bacteria that makes you sick is on the outside. Um, so I basically use a funnel and I also have my sieve in case there's any gross stuff. I think like creeks like this I don't really get a lot of that but I just do it just in case. And then I pour it through into my supposedly clean bottle. I don't know if that stuff going to stay. I'm going to stop it for now. <laughs> in two hands. So once that's filtered, you see, like, there isn't really anything in the, the strainer, but, you know, just in case, it's like little floaties. I don't care for that too much, so. <laughs> um, it's more for when you have really stagnant gross water that you have to cut from. Um, so basically, all I have to do is put a little teeny tiny pill in there, and I have to shake it for 10 minutes to uh, allow it to dissolve. And then I'm going to put it in my Camelback, but I'm not allowed to drink out of there for 30 minutes. Got to let the, let the thing do its stuff. So yeah, and then, um, so once I've filled my camel back, -da, um, I will have these two bottles filled. I will, my clean bottle will get um, poured in and my dirty bottle will be full and I'll purify these later when I take break or um, maybe even when I get to camp. So that's that. Okay, I'm ready to go. I think I've been here about an hour with all the water filling and everything, but I just wanted to show um, just where I've come from. So that big hump of mountainous terrain um, before the bridge is where I climbed down and that's only the ending. Like it's a really steep decline. It's like this little mountain. Um, 
that you descend into this creek. So it's pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> I am on my way to my camp spot. I want to get there soon because I had a little bit of emotional stuff go on and <laughs> was, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. But yeah, whatever. Test my wits. Okay, I've made it to Wrinkly Face Provincial Park. Um, I'm halfway down the whole trail. I'm so excited. A little bit of a view there. It's in this park. I remember there's not a lot of view. It's blocked by a lot of trees and stuff. But um, yeah, there's not a lot of wildflowers and stuff this time of year. It's very pretty in the spring and stuff. Um. Uh, that was one heck of a climb that I just went through to get here. Uh, I think I would take Cardiac Hill over this any day. <sighs> so anyway, it's a pretty little area there. <sighs> um, somewhere along the line here is a spot where I can kind of sit down. I'm going to lie down and rest. Uh, I haven't had lunch, so oh, there's more of the, the view there. So, anyway, I'm going to have a rest. Alright, so, I am almost at kilometer 34. And I'm going to say thank the universe because uh, my feet have been giving me problems for half of today. Um, they're finally rebelling. I had a little bit of issue yesterday too, but... Anyway, kilometer 34 comes out at Echo Lake... Uh, Forest Service Road and then I had to travel up that road maybe about a half to three quarters of a kilometer um, which is where I'm planning to camp tonight so I am closer to there than I thought um, so I'm thrilled <laughs> um, I need to get there because I need to stop walking and then it's a bunch of work to actually do my um, camp set up and stuff. It usually takes me a very long time um, to pack it all up. It's two hours and I want things a certain way so I can find things. So it's like, oh, so lots to do, right? So I want to get there sooner than later, but this is actually a very pretty part of the trail. Um, I've come across quite a few parts that I was like, oh, I should film that. But um, again, I'm really tired and I want to go. So I didn't. But this is a really pretty part too. I'm really loving this. I dig it. When I did this last time, I remember I was getting dangerously low of water and I came across this, this um, has nothing in it now, <laughs> but at the beginning of July, um, towards the middle, it was trickling. It was like barely anything moving, but I was on my last bottle of Gatorade water. Um, I mean, it's just water in a Gatorade bottle. And, uh, but I was so, so happy. I sat here for a half an hour treating everything and loading it all up. It was crazy. Anyway, I totally recognize it. So where's Jeff Goldblum when you need him for a good line? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, man. I didn't put my foot next to that. My shoes, I, I can't remember. They're men's size 9. <laughs> or 10. 9, I think. 9 and a half. Um, yeah. <laughs> Holy! You know what? <laughs> Okay, so I'm on Echo Road South, and um, my GPS map says that I am at kilometer 30, 34 and a half, but I just passed by sites as 34, so approximately a kilometer away. I'm so looking forward to setting camp right now. 